the jet fuel is calculated to burn for 30 minutes. Two, one. Will the metal maintain its structural integrity? Within two minutes, the thermocoupler temperature peaked just above 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Complete structural failure took less than four minutes. The steel twisted in the heat and the weights fell off. Obviously, in this environment where you're getting 18 to 2,000 degrees, uh, the steel is not going to withstand its strength for more than about five minutes. This experiment concludes that exposed steel heated by jet fuel will commence to lose its strength far below its 2,600 degree Fahrenheit melting point. Within minutes, an unstable structure is created. In the World Trade Center, this heat would have been more than sufficient to soften the steel. And this combined heat and the weight of the structure would have caused deformation across entire floors. Of course, the World Trade Center managed to stand for more than five minutes after the impact. So they weren't seeing quite these kinds of temperatures. But still, this is showing that if you heat up steel, uh, it is going to lose strength and it will fail.